A day after needing a 1-0 score in the opening round of the NCAA softball tournament, the Alabama Crimson Tide were in an uncomfortably similar situation on Saturday against Southeastern Louisiana. Starting pitcher Kayla Beaver, she was stellar, but offense came at a premium. This is the first national tournament appearance for the Lions, but they're no joke. Winners of 45 games heading into the Tuscaloosa Regional, including the Southland Conference regular season and tournament titles, the Lions' strength was their pitching staff. The green and gold came into the game with the nation's fifth best ERA. And that showed itself Saturday when Alabama was kept off the board until the fourth inning. Marley Giles gets on with a two out walk before the next batter, Jenna Johnson, smacks one up the middle. What should have just been a base hit turned into a run scored when the Sela center fielder misplays it. Into score comes Giles. Alabama draws first blood. It's 1 0. But the Lions would answer in the sixth on a rare defensive mistake by Bama. First and third situation with two down. Lions try for a double steal. It's Kaylin Watson inching off the bag, trying to bait a throw. Emma Broadfoot, she can't get the tag down. And in to tie the game is Audrey Greeley. We'd stay tied through regulation. On to extra innings, we'd go. Top of the ninth inning, head coach Pat Murphy opts to pinch hit backup catcher Riley Valentine for Abby Dusherer. And the sophomore transfer from Texas A&M comes up with the biggest hit of her Alabama career. She absolutely mashes a two-run home run to left field. Off the scoreboard, it's gone. Her third home run of the season couldn't come at a better time. Tied lead 3-1. Homers typically kill rallies, but Bama begs to differ as four of the next five tied get on base, driving in two more runs. Sela scored twice in their half of the ninth, but it wasn't enough. Alabama advances to the Tuscaloosa Regional Final with a 6-3 win. After the game, we heard from the hero, Riley Valentine. Yeah, he came up to me multiple times and just said, do something different and hit a ball in the gap. And so for me in the pinch hit situation, like I had nothing to lose. So I just trusted what I put in. We had a good week of practice. And so I just got in the box, trusted it and did what he said, hit a ball in the gap. Valentine's big hit and the insurance runs that ensued only arrived after eight agonizing frames of offense. Up until Saturday's ninth inning, the Tide had scored just four total runs across their previous 36 innings of play. We might have to win one to nothing, we might have to win five to four, and we might have to win ten to nine. Can we do that? Can we do that? And you're kind of seeing it now. I think tomorrow we need to take it one step at a time, you know, try not to get ahead of ourselves. Take that momentum into the first inning, step on them early, and like I said, just keep it simple, be where our feet are, and move on from there. So Alabama plays for a spot in the Super Regionals on Sunday. Since they came out of the winner's bracket, Alabama has to win just once to advance and have to lose twice to be eliminated. First pitch is set for 1 p.m. on Sunday. At Road Stadium in Tuscaloosa, Simon Williams, Fox 54 Sports.